Hello YouTube. So I had to stay at a hotel last night. It's a little dirty, but you know, whatever it takes to meet Freddy Fazbear. It's almost 5, so we gotta get going. Okay guys, so we just landed after like the longest five hours of my life. Now we gotta take the train, I think, something like that, to the convention, so I'll see you there. Alright guys, so we made it to Seattle. I am almost there. I just need to finish walking to the convention center. I'm so excited to meet Freddy Fazbear. I'm coming for you, Freddy. Okay guys, there's a lot of people here. I'm going to get my badge, I think. I don't know what's going on. I might be going to the wrong spot, we'll see. Okay guys, we made it. It is very loud in here. I don't know if this mic's working, but I'm going to find Freddy Fazbear. Right when I walked in, I saw an Among Us booth. I didn't really get to check it out throughout the whole event because there was always a huge line somehow, but I did get to get this awesome picture. This is sussy, dude. This is so sus. Then I finally found something pointing me to Freddy Fazbear. Oh my god, Freddy Fazbear's this way. I can't believe this is real. So out in front, they had this like big display that looked like the front of the restaurant from the movie, which looked really cool. Alright, so here I was just trying to check out Glamrock Cupcake, then my pals Gavin and Puggo showed up behind me. Oh my god! I chatted with them for a little bit and got to look around the booth. Alright guys, so I'm currently in line to play Secrets of the Mimic, it looks like. I think it's in VR. I'm not allowed to record, but I'll update you guys afterwards. So there's a big line that wrapped around the whole building. Then once you actually got into the front room, there's this little section that had the Eclipse animatronic from last year and Jackie. Jackie looked so cool. I was like staring at her the whole time. I feel like it's a Jack in the Box. Oh, and there are these security cameras that looked like they had some pictures from the game. Alright guys, I just got out of playing Secrets of the Mimic, or something, I don't really know if that's what it actually is, but it's a VR game. There's a mode where you're exploring, like, an office, and you have to, like, unwind the clown music box guy. But yeah, I'm currently waiting in line to meet Freddy Fazbear. In the corner of the booth where the line wrapped around, there was this big puppet. It wasn't an animatronic, but its eyes lit up. The whole thing looked really good. The texture looks just how I imagined it. They were doing these little birthday party events, and I got in in the second group. You get to walk around the booth and try to do some games to win prizes. There are paper pals to be made, and there are lights to turn on. Over here, on the left, we have our cupcake bonanza where you can get a cash token. You get these going. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Thank you. I managed to get three of them, and apparently they're selling for a ton on eBay, so I'm about to be rich. Hello, hello! Hi. This machine is going to sense your aura and tell you which Five Nights at Freddy's character you are. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah. You take this, you're going to squeeze it and not let go until that light turns on. Okay. Ready? Okay, squeeze it. It was in this moment I knew I was destined for Phantom BB. I could just feel it. Oh my god! Oh. Uh, uh. For some reason, I never actually panned my camera up to show it, but I got Toy Bonnie, which is pretty bad, but, you know, whatever.
they had a little station to make paper pals in the booth, so I made my artist rendition of Balloon Boy. Okay, so this is what I came up with. It's, it's a Balloon Boy, alright. He looks a little silly. Then Freddy came out for my group, and I got to meet him for the first time, but trust me, this would not be the last. Okay, I guess I'm gonna wait for Among Us. I don't really know what I'm getting, but I think it might evolve doing tasks, so it's probably worth it. It was around this time when I started to get a little bit of a sick feeling. I guess the mixture of being up since 5am my time and not having eaten was really starting to set in on my body because I felt like I was about to collapse. Alright guys, I think I'm going to be heading out. I'm like, I'm feeling so tired. I've been awake for like 16 hours. So I think that might be the end for today. The whole steel wool booths all closed down. It's weird seeing it so empty. Okay guys, so it is now day two. I didn't record a waking up montage today. But yeah, I'm about to head on the train back to the convention. I'm hoping to talk to some more people today, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Also, it is currently like three hours before the event opens because they're doing a special thing where the first 50 people get like some little gift bag, so. That's gonna be me. Guys, it's not looking good. It's actually looking pretty horrible. I think I'm cooked. There were so many people, but I still stood there for an hour. Then I went in, knowing I could win this. All right, here we go, guys. I need Freddy, I need him. I'll do whatever it takes. There were so many people and they were barely moving, but I knew I still had a chance, a chance to win Freddy. That's gonna be me. I think I was a little too slow. There's definitely 50 people here. What a shame. Sadly, I wasn't one of the first 50, but they brought out the wet floor bot, which kind of improved my mood. He even came over and said hi to me. This is probably the peak of my life. Luckily, I am Reese was able to get in and get a bag. Good for you, I guess. Ugh. But I completely forgot about the goodie bags when Glamrock Freddy himself came out. He was a little different than last year, but he had some withering on him. I had been wanting to meet this guy for so long, it was so cool to see him. It seemed like he was having some technical difficulties because another steel wool employee had to keep going over to him and shoving his stomach in. The cosplay looked absolutely insane in person. Hey, Freddy, yes sir, nice to meet you, man. <laughs> Of course I got some pictures with my favorite robot animal. This time I was actually determined to win something from the prize counter. First I tried Limbo, and I got kinda far but then I fell over. And then I tried a balancing game. I actually got on Steel Wool's story. I tried to balance it on my nose but we all kinda fell over immediately so then we did it on our hands and I also lost. Okay guys, I'm currently in line to meet Freddy Fazbear officially. It is so busy today. It is way busier than it was yesterday, but yeah, should be like an hour until I get in, I hope. Little did I know, it was actually a brand new Roxy cosplay that came out. Around this time is when Daco put out one of his prototype hex plushes on the prize counter. He told Puggo if he got a prize ticket, he could have the prototype plush. Don't ask me how, but Puggo got in and won a prize ticket. That's no oh way! My God. By that point all the events were over, so then the YouTubers just came and kinda chilled in the booth. Somehow, they convinced Daco to play Ultimate Custom Night on the machine. This was his totally real beating 50-20 reaction, it's real. After that, we all got kicked out of the booth, but we all went to Chuck E. Cheese. They still had the animatronics, and I'm gonna be honest, they don't normally scare me, but these guys looked really weird. Especially Jasper, look at his eyes. Oh, he just looked at me.
Dude, just start messing up. <laughs> just start putting everything up. <laughs> Where's the oh. tail? Wait, put the head on the I took the tail. I have tails in my pocket. Oh, wait, it is. <laughs> wait, everything's back. <laughs> <laughs> like just it. leave it like that, bro. <laughs> 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 it's mangled. It's mangled. New mangled prototype. <laughs> No, get to count. No. We're gonna get the So then we started doing a little ski ball competition. Somehow, I walked home that evening, the champion of skee-ball. I think it was just luck, but I still felt cool. So then the Chuck E. Cheese closed. Like, all the lights turned off, all the games were closed, but they just didn't kick us out. It was so weird. But then, it was finally time to say goodbye. I'm a little lost right now, but I'm probably gonna find my way. I'll do a little outro thing once I get somewhere where I'm not at risk of being killed. Alright guys, so I got home earlier today, um, I just finished editing the whole video, but yeah, that was such a fun trip, it was probably the best time I've ever had doing YouTube, I got to meet so many cool and amazing people, and I made a ton of friends, I really just had an amazing time all around, it was like so cool getting to see all that stuff in person, but yeah, thanks to all of you for watching my stuff, I wouldn't have been able to do it without all of you guys. But yeah, thanks to everyone who helped put that event together and really it was so cool meeting everyone that was there.